G'day guys, it's Alan here from Fishing Mad. My mailbox in the last few months has lit up like an absolute Christmas tree. Messages from followers who have said, hey, we're really enjoying your kayak videos and it's inspired them to go out and get their own fishing kayak, which is awesome. I did, however, during the week get a really interesting message as a pretty lengthy rant from someone who was suggesting that we're only going out there and catching fish because we're using expensive, fancy kayaks. Now, most would know when I'm out there, generally using a native watercraft Slayer 10. It's certainly no Hobie, but it is a nice kayak. But it did get me wondering, how can we prove that point that it's not about the kayak that we're using and more about the fundamentals that we're doing to catch fish? So I started racking my brain and ideas on how to best prove this. I thought, perhaps I can borrow an entry level paddle kayak of one of my mates and take that out in the bay. And that's when I had that moment. Why not create a challenge where I take an inflatable pool tube out in the bay and use that to target some fish. It's inexpensive, it only costs $30 from BCF and there's absolutely nothing fancy about it. So the challenge for today is to take this inflatable pool tube out in the bay and catch at least one fish without drowning or getting eaten by anything within 45 minutes because that wind is just about to blow up. And all I'm gonna have with me, obviously, is the pool tube. I'll be using my 1D FR ultralight spin combo. I'll be using just some curl style soft plastics. I'll have a pair of pliers, which will be in my life jacket. I'll have a net attached to the back of the pool tube and an oar, and that is it. So wish us luck. Kids, don't try this yourself. It is a silly challenge, and we are just out there having a little bit of fun. That kind of works. Well, this is reasonably comfortable. Other than my ass freezing. Oh, I can see little fish jumping out of the water just here. I haven't had a touch yet. Which is very odd. Jesus Christ. I don't know, something huge just surfaced right next to me. <laughs> Holy. Oh yeah, oh here we go, we got, oh no. Yep, yep, yes, yes. Yeah, I got on, finally. Uh, this is this is gonna be fun, because these are really toothy. <laughs> Out of all things to catch, this is the worst thing to catch on one of these, because they got teeth everywhere. Ugh, well. There you go. We caught a fish on a pool tube. And the toothiest one that could probably burst this thing in about two seconds. All right, so I'm gonna have to... There we go. Well, there you go, a snook. All... Oh, geez. had another bite then. Oh, you feel that sun now. UV shield's gonna go on now. All right, well there you go, we've got one. It'd be nice to catch a good sized pinky or flathead now. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, good fish, good fish. Oh, another snook. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. Holy moly. Two of those in three casts. All right. Super quiet morning and then it's just woken up and I can't find my pliers now. Oh, you gotta watch the teeth on these guys. Ah, they just got really, really, really sharp teeth, these guys. Ah, you yeah. There we go, you swam off. So we're in great depth now. We're way out, which is awesome. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Ah, oh, I lost him. Oh, man, this is uncomfortable. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I reckon. Oh, something's just bitten my whole line off. Yeah. Look at that, it's just eaten the whole rig. Oh, I had a hit then. Oh, oh I had two or three bites. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, it's come off. I think because I don't have a leader. I don't know what I'm going to do. My line just keeps breaking now because I haven't got a leader on. Like this. Oh, tap, tap, tap. Yep, yep. Gotcha. There we go. Yep. Nice little pinky. Real little pinky. Hey buddy. Away he goes. Yep, yep. Yep. Just bang, 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 and then... You on? Oh. Yep. Oh. There just must be a school here. Oh, hit. Yep, yep. Yep. Pinky, I'm pretty sure about that. Not a big one. Yep, nice one. There we go. Not a little guy. But we are catching. They're obviously little pinkies because they're just attacking the plastic but not hooking up. Ah, oh, lost him. Shit, that was definitely on. Oh, bloody hell. Keep getting bite, 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 and no takers.
Yep, yep. Oh, good bo bo Yep. Oh, it's a heavy fish, man. Yeah, I'd love to land this one. Oh, big flathead. Big flatty. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes! <laughs> First cast! Oh, yeehaw! Look at that. On a pool tube, a big 50 centimeter flatty. And I think I've actually foul hooked him too, which is even that. Uh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh yes well that was actually a lot of fun I took the pool tube out it lasted a little bit out there um, some things worked really well I mean we caught a couple of different species of fish we caught a couple of snook we caught a couple of pinkies caught a couple of really nice sized flathead and we had a run there for about half an hour just about every cast we were getting a fish um, some things didn't work out too well having braid um, as soon as I snapped my leader that was it. I actually had about five or six hookups where I lost the fish because I had no leader and I had the jig head tied straight to the braid and that went straight away. A um, few interesting things happen out there. There's a lot of jellyfish all around my feet, so that was a little bit strange. Um, and definitely had something really big surface as soon as we started, just right next to me. So I'm not sure whether that was a big ray or a shark or something, but um, look, it actually ended up being a lot of fun. Um, probably not something I'd do a lot of, but look, we caught some fish, so at the end of the day, that's what we'd call a successful challenge. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to visit the website, www.fishingmad.com.au. Thanks.